It's Monday, April 18th, 2016. I'm Charlotte Green with Your World in Weed. Today's update is brought to you by the Minority Cannabis Business Association. Head to minoritycannabis.org for info on how you can get in and win in the cannabis industry. It is official. Pennsylvania just became the 24th state to legalize medical marijuana. We're responding to people here who are telling us that there is a real human need here in Pennsylvania. And we did that. We responded to that. So I want to thank the advocates. <laughs> it's law. Now, Pennsylvania, your medical marijuana law is slightly better than states like Georgia and Texas with their CBD only laws. But Pennsylvania patients will not be allowed to smoke the plant. Patients are, however, allowed to consume medical cannabis by vaporizing it, taking it in pill form, topical creams, and the state has a few other methods they say are okay. So if you've been diagnosed with cancer, HIV, or any of the 17 qualifying conditions listed on your screen, you can become a legal medical marijuana patient in Pennsylvania. You'll need a certification from a physician registered with the Department of Health and a valid ID card. Pennsylvania patients, however, cannot grow their own medicine. If you're interested in becoming a medical marijuana grower or processor in Pennsylvania, you'll need to have $10,000 for the initial application fee, which is non-refundable. You must show that you have at least $2 million in capital with no less than $500,000 on deposit with a financial institution. After all that, if you're granted a license, you pay $200,000 for the permit for the year and a fee of $10,000 every year after that if you want to renew. So it's clear you can't get into the cannabis industry in Pennsylvania unless you're already rich. And again, it looks like the average citizen is being shut out of the cannabis industry. But kudos to Pennsylvania on behalf of its patients and welcome to the future.